You're aware that hyperbaric oxygen therapy has gotten approved for use in patients such as yourself because it theoretically and clinically has been shown to help new blood vessels form in areas where there is radiation damage mm -hmm. by getting the body to send in new stem cells and, and uh, regenerate good tissue where radiation scar tissue was. That's the hope. And the goal clinically is to see that the bleeding and need for colonoscopies end. So the way we'll tell if it works is obviously if you don't need the same kind of medicine that you're taking. Correct. If you're still at the end of the day after 60 treatments telling me you need this same kind of medicine, I'm telling you that even if it looks like it's healing, we haven't done you any good. Your goal is not to need pain medication and live normally. So the treatment is... Um, you know, it's 20, 40, 60, depends on our response. But 20, no less than 20 hyperbaric treatments, and they're each about two hours, five days a week. Let me explain to you that the hyperbaric oxygen therapy is, is a way of putting oxygen into your body's fluid compartments for use where it wasn't previously. Even though while you're breathing air today, your red blood cells are fully saturated with oxygen. Mm -hmm. The hyperbaric oxygen therapy will not make your red blood cells have any more oxygen. What it will do is put oxygen where your red blood cells can't go or where the oxygen is needed. It does that because oxygen is a gas and when you breathe the gas under pressure, it's like putting carbonation in a pop and putting the pop bottle on top. Mm. The difference between you and a pop bottle is that when we open the top and you come out of the chamber, the gas doesn't bubble out. The gas gets used. Okay. Because oxygen is it's our life source. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the difference. So if you took a pop and you opened the bottle and the gas came out, um, it would probably defizz within a couple days. With you, because you're a living organism, you actually use up all the oxygen in that hyperbaric chamber that we give you within four hours of getting out. Wow. So the treatment is, a, in essence, using high dose oxygen to affect the result but you're only getting four hours. Four hours of anything isn't going to take care of radiation colitis. It's probably going to need several periods of time of exposure to high dose oxygen to make a difference. All right, you should be good to go. Pretty easy treatment. The only side effects are um, because you're under pressure, it'll feel like you're diving to the bottom of a, of a pool where you go penny looking, you ever right. did that as a kid? Yeah. And you know, you feel pressure in your ears. Right. So we have to go slowly as you're going down and teach you how to equalize pressure between the outside of your ear and the inside of your ear which communicates with your mouth. Pressure has to be the same on both sides or else boom. Kind of like so, the airplane ride. Right. You know, so we'll teach you how to do that. I'm just a, a doctor by nature and my goal is to get you better, right? That's why you come here. <laughs> All right, so that's the story.